before we begin, please like, share, and be sure to subscribe to my page and ring the bell to get notification about my next video. How can we make a difference in the environment? Many of us don't see the issue on this, so we ignore it. A lot of people push it aside and hope someone else will take care of it. Nasser Yassin, who is a world traveling vlogger, is not one of those people. He creates short videos on places you may know about or never knew existed. He meets people from all around the world who are making a difference with their contribution to making the world a much better place. He offers a video vlog company named Nas Daily Corporation mostly on Facebook and Instagram. So what does he have to do with this topic on making a difference in the environment? I met Nasir online a few years ago when he had fewer than 60 followers which now he has reached over 12 million followers. When he initially started doing his vlog full-time, it was to find a meaningful life. He left his high-paying career as a software engineer and wanted to focus on what we may not know or what we may assume life is. Millions of people who are inspired by him have viewed each of his video and his crew on making the world a better place, a closer community. He focuses on many different topics and one of them is reducing waste. What and why is reducing waste an issue? The landfill and the ocean are filled with plastic debris which affects not only marine life but also human life itself. Example, microplastic damage. Let us use the exciting journey of trash vlog video Naz made and investigate it. In Singapore, you can be highly fined up to $1,000 for littering. However, not only can you be fined, but you also can receive a penalty of community work where you are forced to pick up trash in public. They take their trash seriously. Singapore also turns this garbage into ash. You may be concerned about the effect this may have on the environment, the air, land, or water. What if I told you that the resort-like island where it is a tourist spot with blooming coral reef and clean water is, in reality, a garbage dump? Their landfill is designed by engineers and environmentalists. This is one example of how we can make a difference. What we need to do is get more involved instead of pointing fingers. We have to be more invested instead of relying on government regulation. It starts with us. For example, we feel plastic is hurting the environment. We also jump into reusable bags. Stop buying products made of plastic or products that are not eco-friendly. From my observation, there have been more cities and countries that have started to ban or limit plastic straws. Big name companies such as Starbucks have promised to no longer carry straws and McDonald's has joined this campaign and many more. Lists of celebrities have joined the anti-straw campaign. From football star Tom Bradley to rock and roll Mick Jagger, actor Andre Garnier, and former first daughter Chelsea Clinton all have embraced the hashtag stop sucking anti straw in this campaign against single use straws. How do reusable bags fit into this? According to Charlie Gerba, who is a microbiologist at the University of Arizona says that we should be washing our reusable bags since more than half of them contain some sort of coliform bacteria which includes E. coli. We do not have to worry over some kind of an epidemic outbreak of disease from the reusable bags. Here's another example on the video vlog by Naz Day titled, How This Woman Fix Plastic. You see a young, innovative, clean tech startup that works toward resolving the plastic dilemma called Solutum. 
They are a team of chemical engineers who have developed a unique compound that replaces plastic with a cost-effective, eco-friendly, and robust solution. It is made of a 100% environmentally friendly material that requires only water to buy the grade. What is great about this is that there is no elaborate process or the use of chemicals. So once you are done, you just throw it down the drain. In conclusion, what I and Nas Daily show are that when there is a problem that we care about, such as the environment and how we affect it, solution can be found in the most far off places or right in front of us by being creative and innovative. Focusing on the problem and trying to get people on board does nothing unless you get involved in the solution. These are Gino's brand names. Follow Gino on the following social networks as well as allow notifications. You contact Gino on Facebook Messenger. If you enjoy our videos, please click like. We encourage you to share your comments. Thank you for your support and for sharing this video. Oh, my God.